What's up, ladies and boys, guys, how are you guys? I'm Casey, guys, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be viewing at three mites, the BM800, the Platonic C520s, and a clip mic that I bought off of eBay for 99 cents. This mic has really no name to it, and you can search it up on eBay for that. Uh, we're going to start off with the BM800 as I'm using it right now, and we're going to go ahead and do a few minor details in pricing. Uh, minor details they are, well not really minor, they're major details, are it's a really crisp mic as you can hear and it sounds super nice. Uh, probably one of the minor details, if you have the cash for it, I guess it's a major detail too, is that this whole setup I'm using with the microphone cords and boom arm that you see here and the power, a power supply is about $70. Uh, I picked up the mic for $35 but I'm pretty sure that I know you can pick this mic up for $24. Don't ask why I overspend, I just found it and I jumped on it. We're going to have to switch over to the Platonic C520s and see how that mic sounds. Alright guys, so switching on to the Platonic C520s, you can hear that this mic is really, really dull and a little bit rough. Uh, this mic's okay enough for uh, recording YouTube videos. Uh, I used it because it's the only mic I had and it sounded okay at the time, but using the BM800, it sounds super, super weak compared to that mic. And I really love that mic. And uh, if anything, I'm just put out my suggestions you should really go with this mic but if you do not have the money or the 70 dollars for this mic go ahead and pick up one of these mics or the all right guys this is the clip mic uh this mic's 99 cents on ebay it sounds just like this mic just a little bit lower and you will have to trump the volume in post editing uh since it's so low, I can't really the full bit of the, uh, potential of this mic. I don't know if it's because I'm using it on my computer or this mic's just not getting power to it. As m To get a good sound out of mics, you have to have an efficient enough power for the mic. So I don't know, but to me it sounds okay. And this could be used as a starting YouTube microphone if you're just starting YouTube. So obviously this mic is probably the best one out of all of them. It also really depends on you, but I do not see a reason why you won't go with this mic unless you do not have them $70 for this microphone. I mean, the microphone itself is about, what, $35, $24, uh, but you can buy a, a USB adapter for this microphone and probably if you have a strong enough motherboard, I'm pretty sure there's motherboards that are out there that supply a efficient power for the microphone. But other than that, I will choose this microphone uh, there's no doubt about it. It sounds super crisp and it's a really good microphone. But if you want, if you do not have the money for this microphone, just get any type of condenser mic out there. Uh, there's one that's really cheap that I post down in the links. Uh, I just don't know how to sound, so I wouldn't really go for it as it sounds kind of too cheap for me. Uh, what I mean by that is that it sounds too cheap to sound good. I've seen reviews on it. It still sounds too cheap on the audio size as it is probably like a $15 mic. I digress about that, but guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this helped you out, and I will link all this stuff down in the uh, description down below so you can go ahead and check out the prices down there. I'm Kitchis, guys, and I'll see you next Fire Fight. Peace.